Welcome to the Institutional Review Board for the Social and Behavioral Sciences. Today we're going to talk about secondary data use in research. Let's start by looking at what we mean by secondary data use. The term secondary data is used to describe when a researcher reuses data that was collected for another reason, separate from the purpose of this new research project. Since the data for the new research project already exists in a repository or a data library or a database of some kind for a different reason, using this information to answer the hypothesis or research aims for the new research project is considered a secondary use of the data. Sometimes secondary data use is called retrospective data collection since the collection of the data has already occurred in the past for a different reason and you're now using it for the new research project. One way you can think about this type of study is as recycling data for a new research project. All right, so now that you know that you'll be using secondary data for your project, you need to determine if your planned project qualifies as human subject research. To determine this, you'll need to answer two questions related to the way the federal regulations define the term research and human subjects. We have a separate research education talk on determining if your project qualifies as human subject research, and it goes into a lot more detail on this topic. I'll include the link to that talk in the description under this video. When it comes to secondary data use projects, there is one area of the definition for human subject research that we want to highlight, and that is projects in which the researcher obtains, uses, studies, analyzes, or generates identifiable private information. These types of projects are considered human subject research. Identifiability does not only mean that an individual's name is attached to the data. If the study team has access to the key that links the coded data, this can mean that the data is identifiable. Additionally, combining data sets can link the data in a way that leads to identifiability. Also, the number of individuals in a data set can lead to identifiability. For example, individuals that have a rare disease, or situations where demographic data can lead to the identification of an individual in a specific participant population. As stated in the Standard Operating Procedures for UVA's Human Research Protection Program, the responsibility of this initial determination on whether a project constitutes human subject research rests with the investigator. However, we want to include a note of caution for investigators. Investigators will be held responsible if this determination is not correct. Investigators may wish to submit a description of the plan project to the IRB office for review and confirmation that the project is not human subject research. If there's any ambiguity or if it's not entirely clear to the investigator on making this determination for this plan project, then it's highly recommended that the investigator reach out to the IRB to make this determination on whether the study qualifies as human subject research. Also, if the investigator needs documentation, the IRB can provide an email or letter stating that the project was reviewed and does not qualify as human subject research. One last thing to note when we're talking about identifiable private information is that private information is defined as information which has been provided for a specific purpose by an individual and which the individual can reasonably expect will not be made public. For example, a medical record or a school record. If the research investigator or IRB on consultation determines that the project is human subject research, then submission to the IRB is required. At this point, the path for this planned secondary data use project follows the normal process for submission of a study protocol. If you have any questions about secondary data use, or if you would like an IRB determination letter for a non-human subject research project, please reach out to us. We're here to help you.